I got a ASV RC uh, 85 skid steer. Had trouble with this machine. The arms wouldn't lift up on it. I had to use my other machine and uh, loosen up one of the hydraulic lines and then use the back hole to lift it up to get inside these things. Uh, they won't let you access the cab with uh, the uh, bucket down. Um, what's happened here is you go to clean these tracks out and somehow the water comes in through here and it gets these things uh, wet. Well, I went ahead and replaced the rheostat on that, on this here, on this here one. This is uh, your safety to your bucket. I had the my handle down, my safety handle down, but because this wasn't working, it would not allow that bucket to move. After I replaced the rheostat, it still didn't work. I had to get in here and replace this spool. And then my machine's working. It's a real pain in the rear to get in here and uh, pull all this out to gain access to this. So I'm just going to replace th this one here, this one here, and the back one too. Maybe try and cover it up with some plastic so when I clean my tracks out, I don't have this problem again. That's all I got for you. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, by the way, this here, this here is your pilot control valve right here. It's right underneath the feet of the skid steer. Uh, it does a lot of the hydraulic porting. And if these spools or rheostats are bad, your machine's not going to move. Well, uh, once again, have a good day. Bye.